Yo guys, what is up? How you guys doing today? So I have another Uncharted update for you guys, and that's 3.14.1.0. And as you guys can see, I'm actually in an aircraft right now. Um, this is the only plane that was added. You guys can also uh, create your own mods for these planes. And uh, you can also use fruit form buildables. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get right into this. Well, since I'm already in a plane, we have to find where I need to land. Um, I forgot actually where I was. So let's go ahead and press home. And... Uh, where was I? I have no idea where I was. Where was I? Oh, Shelton Farm, right over there. Okay. So, we'll just turn over here. Use our mouse. So, hopefully we're going the right way now. Um, I'm not too sure. I think that's it right over there. So, we'll go ahead and... Uh, this, is, this is what happens when you don't know how to fly. Ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So it's right there. So uh, you can try and land this. I think my volume just turned off. Or I just ran out of gas, actually, so that's great. All right, we're going in. Going in slowly. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, yep. Well, uh, we landed right there. As you can see, we're out of gas, and that is the first plane. And uh, this plane is called the Sandpiper, if I'm correct. And uh, we'll go ahead and get out of this. So yeah, there's the sandpiper. I filled it up with a whole bunch of gas, but you know, I kind of got stuck in the air. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start the recording right there because I'm, I'm stuck in there and there's I don't really want to spawn this again and get gas for it. So there it is. So we'll go ahead and go over to the helicopters over here. So we have three new types of helicopters. Two of the helicopters are just different camoed versions. And then uh, one of them is the sky crane. And uh, so yeah, these two right here are the Hueys. Um, here's the desert one and then there's of course, you know, the forest one and uh, yeah We'll go ahead and try this one out first. You know, I haven't really flown any of these helicopters All this is first time flying So uh, basically to fly you use your you know WASD and your uh, your mouse your mouse would be like to uh, I'd say roll forward roll backwards, you know roll on your side uh, So by that I mean like here we'll go ahead and get in this and, uh, We'll go ahead and start lifting up by holding W, just wait until it goes up slowly and slowly. And then, uh, let's say, you know, you want to move forward, you push your mouse backwards. Sorry about that. Got these are helicopters. You pull your mouse uh, backwards, and then if you, you want to go up more, you know, you just do that, I guess, if you want, honestly. Um, but yeah, this is to go forward, you just pull your mouse back. And uh, you only really use your mouse to really stabilize the vehicle if you uh, go left and right. That's only to stabilize it. But um, there's no need to turn with your mouse. You use your uh, A and D to turn. So pressing D to turn right and then, you know, A to go left. So, uh, yeah, there is that. Um, also, I think this is a one-seater. And uh, no, this cannot pick up vehicles with the back of it. Sorry about that. But, yeah, there's that. And I'm probably going to crash soon. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, land somewhere. We're gonna land in the field or something. Okay, we can, uh, okay. I'm not, I'm not so sure about all this. Okay, I'm not so sure about all this. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, well, we're coming in for a landing like we are in a plane, alright? So we're just, we're just gonna, yeah. See, guys, this is my flying skills. This is, like, flying to the max right here. Alright, so, uh, you know, we can probably just jump out and we'll probably, yeah, yeah, we'll just, we'll just jump. Oh, shit. Okay, yep, there we go. It's, uh, it's sideways. Don't mind the helicopter, alright? It's just gonna flip back over like nothing, alright? Nothing happened to it. It's completely fine. Alright. So, now let's go ahead and get on to the Huey. Uh, we'll, I, should we try out the four? Yeah, we'll, we'll go on the forest, because, you know, it won't really matter, because these are both the exact same. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this after I give myself some health. Uh, so, 15. I don't really think I need the one right there, but, you know, what are you ever? What are you ever? All right, so I'm about to die, and, uh, you know, I have no idea what the MRE ID is. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get in this heli. So, just like the other one, you know, hold W to go up. Uh, A and D to go left and right. And then, you know, S would be to basically like slow down your helicopter and your 
your blades and all that to go land. Um, so yeah, I'm not really much of a training other people in this because you know, I can't really call myself a pilot at all in this game because I suck like so bad. So yeah, I've launched with this helicopter. We'll go ahead and get ourselves to a nice height so I can show you guys the rest of the seats from up here. Um, if I can stabilize the view. So yeah, we're going to get up to a nice height. Uh, probably not near the water. Uh, I think the best would be right over here. Right, okay. 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 Alright. So I think I am at a great height without trying to crash. I keep pressing the wrong button, trying to press H over here. I'm um, okay, so yeah, this is I'm not I'm not ready for this guys. I'm not at all ready for this. Okay. So I think right there should be good. Oh my god. I think right there should be good. Okay. I think I'm set. Alright. So, if we land in the water, we land in the water. Alright, so I'm just going to go on the inside right here, and if you press F2, you know you go to the passenger seat, and then uh, let's go in F3, and you're actually in the side seat, and right here, you can actually pull out your gun, and you know, uh, when somebody else is the pilot, you know, you just start blasting. Uh, same with the other side, you know, you just keep blasting and everything, and we're probably going to land right here. Okay, yep. We landed nice. No explosions or anything, so, um... Yeah, um, I honestly think whenever you jump out of the heli, um, there actually might be an update to where it's, you know, when it falls at the ground at a certain height, that's it, it's actually going to blow up. So uh, don't always count on, you know, jumping out of the heli or, you know, just switching seats because, you know, you, you may die. You may die. All right, so I think I'm just going to run to the next helicopter because, honestly, I am, like, the worst pilot. Actually, wait, no, the other helicopter is the exact same, so there's not really to show you there. But yeah, guys, those are the helicopters, uh, planes, uh, well, the one helicopter, well, the two helicopters, or three helicopters, and then, the, you know, the, the one plane that we have. So yeah, guys, there's that, you know, it's the one thing that everybody's been waiting for, and it's finally here now. So yeah, also, the, um, the max gas, I think, that it spawns with is at least at 5%. So what, if you're, like, planning to find a plane or anything... Make sure that you have some gas cans on you that are full and, uh, you know, fill those babies up when you get next to them. So, yeah, guys, there's that. And we'll go ahead and get on to the next things. And, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, guys, we are back. So, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the additions. So, we'll go ahead and start with the equilateral slash right triangles that were added. Um, there was actually, you know, a bunch of these that were added. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and spawn about two of these. So, we got our two uh, different types of triangles over here and uh these are just basically you know i'd say you can you know build more contraptions or something with it um you can use this to you know build art if you want i'm guessing but uh yeah i don't really know what you're gonna use these uh these triangles really for but uh yeah there's a whole there's like a whole variety of these i just spawned two of them just to get you guys like a little look at you know what they would look like uh these are the new freeform buildables so you can you know put these on planes put them on anything set them down anywhere if you want i have no idea build a wall with it do whatever you want with them so yeah there's that also there is now um the server name filter to list and uh there is the item search bar to inventory option to display inbound slash outbound outbound voice so uh, to do that, you know, you would go into your option options. Yes, okay, and then you have your inbound text chat. So anybody that's sending basically, you know, a message right up here in the left-hand corner, uh, you won't receive that if you turn it off. But if you turn it on, then you will receive that. And um, if I'm correct, inbound is when people are trying to talk to you. You can turn that off so you don't have to hear anybody. And uh, for outbound, you know, this is so if you try and talk to people, like you can still hear everybody else, but you're not able to talk to anybody else. So there's that. And um, I think that was it out of the, all that. And now you can actually mute people from, uh, you know, the little player menu right up here. You just click mute on them and it mutes them. And then, you know, just go to unmute. 
So yeah, there is that also. We'll kind of change this back today because we can. And uh, yeah, so there's that. Also, there is the ability to win arena as a group slash team. So instead of, you know, having to single-handedly kill everybody, uh, you can actually work with a team now, and you can win with that team without having to backstab your own teammates. And also, there is more cover to the Alpha Valley and Monolith PvP maps, or arenas, I should say. Also, there is now arena win stats and achievements. There is also the equilateral slash right triangles, which I just showed you guys. And uh, there is now a new PEI arena map. So, uh, yeah, there's that for the additions, guys. So, now let's go ahead and move on with the improvements. Now there is improved red sites to use your crit color instead. Uh, there is now improved arena to allow skills upgrade. Improved some input fields to show hint. Improved map to scale arena field area better. Improved master server to return multiple versions. Uh, tweaked lobby to block outside entry. Tweaked field speed based on map size. Tweaked sawed off range slash durability slash spread. So, uh, you know, the range of the sawed off shotgun. The dur durability, you know, how long it would last after, you know, shooting up some people. And of course, the bullet spread from whenever you shoot, you know, how, how you know, the bullets spread out and just, you know, shoot anything. And then also there is tweaked pillar slash post supply cost, tweaked version display. And for the fixes, we got fixed interacting with buildables on vehicles, fixed jumping out of arena lobby, fixed sleeping bags in arena, fixed suiciding in safe zone, fixed full saber tooth ammo, fixed arena clearing mythics, fixed server password field size, and fixed belt on side of festive top. And yeah, so that's it for the additions, improvements, tweaks, and fixes. Um, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And thank you guys for watching. Also, if you guys do want to see these update notes, um, I will have the link to that in the description down below. So yeah, guys. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, like I said. And uh, yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And see you guys later.